So we had the ID Tech X show. Hello. Hi, hi, Termax. Hi, pleasure. So who are you? I'm Biliana Kay, and uh, we know each other very well. I mentioned to you in Silicon Valley and Santa Clara that uh, uh, I'm working on the publishing of my patent that I will be able to discuss for the first time here in Berlin, 2019 ID Tech X show. Is it the patent? The Yes, mathematical those, uh, formula. Th that's the the core of the the patent exactly. So, um, what are you showing here? Do you have some some art uh, going on that has to do with uh, with what? It has to do with the formula. What you see, the formula there, and what you see here, is the physical and digital object of quantified data. Quantified data. What does that mean? It's an artistic concept that attributes mass to data for the first time through the digital mass particle. As a result, a technical entity becomes a new type of matter, which I call digital mass. From that digital mass, I can produce at any time an original and unique artwork. So we have, for the first time, a pure artistic concept that brings a new type of technology. An artistic concept brings a new type of technology? Yes! So what does that mean? Uh, like your it has artistic uh, uh, in, uh, intuition creates something tangible in the world, or uh, no? not exactly? It has traditionally technology has always been used to make art. For the first time today, because of the particular circumstances, you have a pure artistic concept, quantification of data that can actually bring birth to a new, unique, powerful technology that can eventually produce a tangible object in a format of artworks. So, um, can you explain? So, let's stand yes. up, uh, let's go around. Um, what are we looking at here? Is that's, it like that's, mathematics? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's mathematics and artistic concept together. What you have here is the concept of quantification of data. What you have here is the object, energy, that can be generated at any time, virtual or tangible. What you have here is the digital mass. What you have here is the digital mass particle, x1. And what you have here is a constant, constant A as artist. The digital mass particles are created and can be modified and can be enriched exclusively as a relation to the artist intervention. It states that art fundamentally can be created exclusively and uniquely by human being, even though what I'm dealing with is data. So you have mass? No. That's it, mass. And you have? Object. Object. And the E is? Energy. As this object contains certain amount of digital mass particles, this is through the digital mass particles, I have given mass to data. As a result, every object having been made out of certain amount of digital mass particles has an energy. So, um... You live in Geneva, right? Yes. Is it inspired by the CERN or? It sounds like a, a something that they would talk about in the CERN. Uh, it's Mass inspired and energy. by art. It's an artistic concept. It's, 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 it's a paradox. Let's put it that way. However, it's real. It's, uh, it's, I am producing an artwork. It has a tangible and a virtual object. 
So, your data as artwork, that's what you said in the first video we did, right? That's, that's it, that's it. And now it really explains the three steps. Original data set, input, that is given to me to be transformed into artwork. Step number two, quantification of that original data set into unique data set and, mat and matter as digital mass. And third, unique uh, original artwork that can be done from the data mass at any moment. And the process is irreversible. This is you? This is, uh, this is the artist, that's me. Not only yes. you, or it's just you? It's a constant, in, it's me. It's you. When it comes to the artwork, it's me. And uh, what do you say here? The process of quantification of data consists in, in the transformation of any, any ordinary, ordinary data set into an extraordinary set of data as artwork. And uh, so this is like very special art, right? This is not the same art as you see in the museum. This is like the uh, because there's been there was uh, let's say uh, the Renaissance and then there was uh, minimalism and then uh, this this is the next thing or what? Uh, well, let's say history is not your forte, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but you got the point. Yes, it's uh, nowhere to be seen by here, but here. Yes. Uh, so so what's next? You take this and you bring it out to the to the market or where? Uh, that's exactly what I want to do. I, will, I, I would like to be able to uh, uh, build my uh, platform where this three-step process of input data set, quantification of the data set into digital mass and the production of unique artworks can be done in automated way where everybody, regardless of their uh, uh, where they are, regardless of their location, regardless of their age, regardless of their income, culture or gender, can commission artwork out of their personal data. So that means you don't have to uh, modify every piece of art? They just put it inside the algorithm and they print there, it out automatically? There is no algorithm. The algorithm is simply to build the uh, structure to hold the data. I manually create the digital mass by being able to uh, uh, take any digital mass particle at any moment, move it, put it together, create new digital mass particles, and basically uh, um, uh, modify the data set at its structural level and create something totally unique. Is this, um, is this, uh, is, is digital a good thing for art? Like oh, the whole digital world, right? So maybe some artists think oh, they want to stay, remain analog. How do you incorporate the digitalness? There's I, a lot of digital. I, 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 no, that, that's, 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 that's a, an important question. It's really for each artist to decide how it wants to do it. My uh, understanding of it is through the process of data quantification. This is how I uh, uh, try to, to convey the message of the production of a unique artwork that can, is not replicable and it's not reproducible. So when you get this into the market, what is the form? Is it like an application or...? It can be in a virtual format as an application, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality. It can be in a physical, tangible object as a 3D printing, 3D milling in different materials and with anything that is to come in the future as a possible end format and that the technology can bring as a choice to the customer to, to decide, yes. And you have a patent? Yes. Global patent? Uh, uh, well, uh, for the time being, after that, <laughs> yeah. there, there, there is a timing, yes. All right, cool. So, um, what's going to happen next? Because I already asked you a few times, but what's really happening next? Next, I really want to be able to reach 
as many possible human beings and to show people that they can establish an intimate, personal relationship with data like they have not imagined before and create a unique artwork out of it. An artwork that they can live with it, that they can give it to the next generation that can remain forever. Do you have a lot of orders? No. So how does it, what's, like, people can find you? Do you people, have a... people, people can find me uh, on, uh, on my internet site and a commission on Biliana K. And uh, not be afraid to ask questions and say, hey, I would like to commission an original artwork. This is my budget. How can you do that? How can we start a conversation and and uh, uh, do it in the same way you commission art? You want to transcend reality and you want to live with it and you want to cherish it and you want to uh, to give it to the next generation. That's it. And you have a, a social media presence, right? Yes. And uh, there's... A Friendly Hi. guy over there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi. Hi, who are you? I'm fine, and you? All right, so it's your, your, where do you put this stuff? Where is it going to go? You have a... It's, it's going to go uh, on uh, uh, Twitter. Twitter? At Biliana K. It's Instagram? going to go on Instagram, again, at Biliana K. And... Uh, uh, Facebook? Facebook, yes. At YouTube? Biliana K. And YouTube, yes. Right.